In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create or build a calendar table that you can use to connect to different data models in Power BI. Also, we will see multiple ways to create calendar table using tags, all of that and more. So let's get started. So it is a good practice to create a calendar table in our projects as it gives us flexibility in terms of our time dimension that we use in Power BI. We will just see how we can create different dimensions that we can use in our data models. So before we start, there are different ways to build a calendar table in Power BI. So basically there are two types of DAX function that we can use to create a calendar table in Power BI. Okay. So the very first DAX is calendar and the other one is your calendar auto. So calendar table bases the start date and end date, the date that you can provide and it will create one single column in Power BI, which will give you the start date and end date. Okay, the dates between your start date and end dates and in calendar auto, what it does is it automatically picks up the minimum and maximum dates basis the tables or the data models that you have uploaded in Power BI. Okay, so let us see how we can create the calendar table by using a calendar function as well as the calendar auto function in Power BI. So let's go to the Power BI desktop. So I am into Power BI desktop and you see on the right hand side, I have two data set one is your sample data and the other one is your sales data let me go to the table view and show the data sample data contains a date column wherein sales table do not have any date column into it okay how we can create a date table do we require the data in power bi to create the date table or without data also can we create the same so the answer to this is yes, without data, you can create a calendar table. If you have data uploaded in Power BI, you can still go and create calendar table in Power BI. So irrespective, if you have data or you do not have data in Power BI, you can still go and create a calendar table. Okay, so let us go and see how we can do that. Let's go to the modeling tab and let's create on a new table. Okay, let us rename this as calendar table one equals to here. What we will do is we will use a formula which is calendar. Okay, what is say? So it returns a table with one column of all dates between your start date and end date. Okay, so let us take the start date. So to give a start date, what we will have to do is we will have to use another DAX function which is date. Okay. Now it is asking you for the year. So let's take the year as 2021 comma month will be first of every year that is January and the date will be first of January. Let's close this bracket. Let's put a comma and let's put an end date to this. So to put an end date again, we will have to use date function and let us take this as 2025, 12 as a month and 31 31st as a date close the bracket commit to the formula and what you will see on the right hand side is a new table is created which says calendar table let me go to the data view and show you how this calendar table looks like okay you see what had happened here is it has taken a calendar date the start date as 1st of jan 2021 and if I go and sort this by a descending order, what it will show is 31st 12, 2025 is the maximum date that we have provided. Okay. So you see the start date that we have given is this and the end date that we have given is the year 2025, 31st of December. Okay. Now it is just date. So what we will do is we will go to the data type and change the data type from date time to date okay so you got 31st december 2025 is the date if i want to go and change the format of this date i can do that i can do that by just taking this as a short date or whatever format i want i can select the format from here and make the changes okay so for now it is only given us one column which says date let me remove the sort from here Okay, now what we will have to do is we will have to add more dimensions to it. I have to go and add 
more dimension like i want to add year i want to add months i want to add you know a quarter fiscal year so on and so forth so a lot of details or dimensions that i want to add to this table how we can do that so let's see that okay so now let us go and add a few of the dimensions to this let us click let us add uh, columns to this let take another function add columns okay uh let's put a comma here let's add name let's add year as our first column and let's take a dax function which says year and let us take the date from the date table okay close the bracket commit to the formula and what you will see there is a new column that will be added as year okay so you see we got year as 2024 okay now let us go and add months let me give a comma here let me copy this okay let me let me make the changes to year as month let me remove this tag and take this as month let's take one more column uh, let's take this as quarter so let's take this as quarter let's take this function instead of year let's take this as a quarter function close the bracket commit to the formula and you will see that there will be two more columns that will be added to this but one is your month the other one is your quarter okay so uh, let us take this as q and the quarter number let's click ok and see what we get we get q3 q4 q5 so on and so forth okay now let us do one thing let us add uh, dates to this as well so let's take this as day and instead of year let's add this as day so what it will do is it will give you the day that is first second third fourth so on and so forth let me click ok and you will see a new column will be added which says d okay so let us add one more function uh, let us add one more column to this uh, let's take this as okay let's take this as weekday okay so we have two different functions for week one is your weekday and one is your week number so let us take the weekday for now okay close the bracket let us take one more which says week number okay so let's take this as month number instead of month and let us click ok and see what output we get so the output that we will get is two more columns will be added as weekday and week number okay so this is how you can create the calendar table by adding your custom dimensions so now let us go and add few more dimensions to this uh, this will be some of the custom dimensions uh, that i may need while working with my visualizations okay so what i'll do here is i will just go and add this as month name okay this could be okay i'll take the format as date okay comma and let's take the format as mmm four times okay let us go and also add okay let's take this as a uh, weekday name let's take this as format date oh, sorry date comma and let's give the format as o times t close the bracket click on ok and you will see so we have got the month name and weekday name as well okay so now table that we have created using the calendar function in power bi okay so now let us go and create one more table calendar table using the calendar auto function now what calendar auto function will do is it will go in the entire tables that you have uploaded in power bi and it will select the minimum and maximum date basis the data that you have uploaded okay so let us go and click on new table let us go to the modeling tab click on new table let's take this as calendar table 2 equals to calendar auto close the bracket what it will do is it will return a table with one column of dates calculated from the model okay so let us close the bracket click on ok and a new calendar table will be created using the calendar auto function so let us go to the table view okay just click on calendar table 2 and you see what it has done is from 2013 it has taken the date and if i go and sort this table 
what it has done is the end date is 31st 12 2014 okay let us go and change the data type to date and let us change the format okay let us keep the format as it is let us go and clear the sort okay 1st january 2013 till 31st of december 2014 is the table that has created using the calendar auto function okay so what this calendar auto function has done is it has went to the data model that we have so it went to the sales table so in sales table there is no date column so what it has done it went to the sample data and then in sample data it has found that there is a date column so it has taken the date from here the minimum date if i go and sort this column so you see you have data from 2013 and if I go to the descending order, it is 2014. Okay. So similarly in calendar two table, you have data that starts in 2013 and it has gone till 2014. Okay. So this is how calendar auto function works. Now, if I want to go and add or create the dimension tables, I can simply go and add columns. Okay. Let's take this as calendar auto okay let's give a comma let's add year let's take the year as year and then your date let's close the bracket and you will get year basis the date column that you have given you okay so in similar way how we have created the di different dimensions using calendar table we can still go and create the same dimension using calendar auto let's copy this Let's go here. Let's paste it here. Click OK and let us see. And let us see how this table looks like. So you see, we got the table the way we created using the calendar function. Okay. So the only difference between using calendar dex function or using the calendar auto function is calendar function will ask you for the start date and end date, whereas calendar auto function it will just go to your data model find the minimum and the maximum date and it will create your calendar table okay so yes that's all about in today's video hope you like this video please comment below and subscribe to our channel have a great day